Welcome back to your asynchronous classroom. This is Science 9 and we're still under the biological sciences. But today we are going to move on to module number 4, which is going to be about uh, bioenergetics. And I know na medyo napaka-technical niya pakinggan, pero basically we're just going to talk about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So our specific learning competency is going to be differentiating basic features and the importance of photosynthesis and respiration. Uh, for you to be able to, uh, no, to follow through more effectively, you may open your learner's module in Unit 1, Module 4, Pages 1 to 4. For my fellow teachers in the Philippines in Science 9, you may actually have a copy of this uh, presentation. You just have to message me uh, through my page, facebook.com forward slash knowledge catalog forward slash. Let's begin. As usual, this is divided into three parts. The first part for this video is going to be a pre-assessment, multiple choices. And then the second part is a discussion about the parts of the leaves and plant vascular system. And then the last part is a discussion about the parts of chloroplast. Okay, so let's uh, move to the first part, pre-assessment. You may need uh, an extra sheet of clean paper or your notebooks in answering these questions. Question number one. Plants make food by absorbing water and carbon dioxide. Which of the following substances is the origin of oxygen released as a gas by green plants during photosynthesis? A. Water B. Sugar C. Carbon dioxide D. Ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate You may pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number two. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are gases that cycle out in the ecosystem. Which of the following gases is important to photosynthesis? A. Ozone gas B. Water vapor C. Oxygen D. Carbon dioxide You may pause this video to get more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number three. Plants are considered as food makers. In which of the following organelles does photosynthesis occur? A. Ribosome B. Chlorophyll C. Chloroplast D. Mitochondrion You may pause this video to get more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number four. The light-dependent reaction of photosynthesis must come first before the light-independent reaction because its products are important for the fixation of carbon dioxide. Which of the following is or are the products of the light-dependent reaction? A. ADP only. B. NADPH only. C. ATP only. D. NADPH and ATP. You may pause this video to get more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number 5. Plants are unique among other organisms due to their capability to trap sunlight and make their own food. Which of the following enables plants to trap energy from the sun? A. Epidermis B. Chloroplast C. Cuticle D. Chlorophyll You may pause this video to get more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number 6. All organisms get energy from food to perform different life processes. This is done in the cells by breaking down sugar molecules into chemical energy. Which of the following cell organelles is associated with the production of chemical energy? A. Chloroplast B. Mitochondrion C. Endoplasmic reticulum and D. Nucleus You may pause this video to get more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number 7. Pyruvate is the product of glycolysis. If there is no oxygen available to cells of the human body, what becomes of pyruvate? 
A. Alcohol B. Lactic acid C. Carbon dioxide D. A. And C. You may pause this video to get more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number 8. If you did not eat for about 3 days, where did you get your where did your cell get the glucose for ATP production? A. Blood sugar. B. Glycogen in the liver. C. Glycogen present in the muscle. D. Protein in food or in the blood. I mean in the blood. You may pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number 9. How many molecules of carbon dioxide is or are released from one pyruvic acid molecule being oxidized? A. 1 B. 3 C. 2 D. 4 You may pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number 10. During the synthesis of ATP, what is the direction of hydrogen flow? A. From matrix to intermembrane space. B. From intermembrane space to matrix. C. From matrix of mitochondrion to cytoplasm. D. From cytoplasm to the matrix of mitochondrion. Pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, let us check your work. For question number one, the answer is A. Water. For question number two, the answer is D. Carbon dioxide. For question number three, the answer is C. Chloroplast. For question number four, the answer is NADPH and ATP. For question number five, the answer is chlorophyll. For question number six, the answer is mitochondrion. For question number seven, the answer is A and C. For question number eight, the answer is glycogen present in the muscle. For question number nine, the answer is C, two. For question number ten, the answer is from matrix to intermembrane space. I hope that you get these answers correctly, pero if not, uh, that's fine because this is just a pre-assessment. Let us now continue to the second part of this video. The second part of this video is a discussion about the parts of the leaves and the plant vascular system. I'll be getting my laser pointer for a bit. Again, okay, so uh, this is the leaf, the entire leaf. And then a portion of it is a cut cross-sectionally, and as you can see, ayan yung shape niya. So we have these parts, the cuticle is uh, right here, it's a thin uh, sheet, uh, it's a thin sheet right here at the top. And then uh, it seems it covers the uh, top uh, part of the, uh, of the leaf. And then underneath the cuticle, you'll find the epidermal tissue. And as you notice, may dalawang epidermal tissue sa, ta sa baba at saka sa taas. Ayan sila. Underneath the epidermal tissue sa may taas, you'll find these uh, plant cells. Uh, Nakahilera sila dyan. Ayan. And then they have these green pigments. Uh, those green pigments are uh, chlorophyll-filled chloroplasts. Okay, and then um, as you can see, uh, sa may iba, ilalim, ilalim naman, sa may epidermal tissue sa ilalim, uh, there is this space that is called a stomate. And then there are these guard cells that are, uh, yes, they seem to guard the stomate, the opening. 
So, sila yung uh, na- namamahala kung kailan siya bubukas, kailan bubukas ang stomate, kailan din siya magsasara. So, yeah, the stomate is not always open. And then, the mesophyll is um, comprised of all these um, parts of the leaf, cross-sectionally, that are found between these two epidermal tissues. So, it's the most spongy, aerated layer of uh, the part of the leaf. And then as you can see, xylem right here, which is responsible for the transport of water and nutrients from the roots towards the various parts of the plant, is right here. It's a vascular tissue. And then uh, this phloem the is responsible for the transport of the created sucrose or, you know, sugars, other forms of sugar, from the leaves towards the different parts of the body of a plant. The upper and lower epidermis protect the leaf and are not involved in the, pho- in the photosynthetic process. So their function is to protect the leaf. The spongy mesophyll layer has the greatest number of chloroplasts that contain chlorophyll, which are important to trapping energy for the trapping of energy from the sun. So ang um, may pinakamaraming chloroplasts, ang may pinakamarami rin chlorophyll, na layer is itong uh, makikita sila dito sa mesophyll. I'm sorry, but uh, chlorophyll is supposed to be spelt with two L's. Okay? And so, uh, chlorophyll is spelt with two L's. And then, as you can see, uh, sa may taas, uh, nakahilera dito yung mga plant cells because dito banda, natatra- mas natatrap or mas maraming light ang natatrap. Okay? Tapos sa may ilalim naman, dito yung mga stomates kasi uh, dito pumapasok naman yung carbon dioxide at dito rin lumalabas yung oxygen na byproduct ng buong process of photosynthesis. Okay. And then xylem and phloem are vascular bundles. They serve as vessels for transporting manufactured food and water. Carbon dioxide and oxygen again, they enter and exit the leaf through openings called the stomata or in this case, stomates. It's fine. Kung stomata ang, ang gagamitin yung ninyong word or stomate. We are done with the first with the second part of this video. It's, it is a discussion about the parts of the leaves and the plant vascular system. Let us now proceed to the last part of this video, which are the parts of the chloroplast. The chloroplast is an organelle. It means it is a smaller part of a cell. And uh, it is particularly found sa mga photosynthetic na mga cells. So, mga bacteria na photosynthetic, mga algae na photosynthetic, at saka mga autotrophs, mga plants na photosynthetic. You will find chloroplast in them, especially if they are uh, green in color. Kasi iba-iba yung colors ng mga, ano, ng mga, iba-iba yung pigments na mayroon ang iba't ibang klase ng plants. If the plant uh, appears to be green, then that has chlorophyll in its chloroplast. Pero uh, if it does not have that color, uh, perhaps it's uh, it has a different uh, pigment. And you will be studying them uh, in, you have to study them actually, you have studied about them in grade 8 kasi dun, dun ni, di discuss yung about the different pigments. And so the chlorophyll is built into the membranes of the thylakoids um, it absorbs white light and looks green because it is the band of light that is reflected and the rest is, are absorbed. So, I think pinag-usapan natin dyan. Ito yung tinutukoy niya dyan. So, ito yung buong chloroplast and binuksan lang siya dito para mas makita niyo ano yung nasa loob. Pero, uh, basically, it's always represented by uh, a capsule, <laughs> uh, capsule. Para lang siyang oval na kulay green. Kung ano. Pero, binuksan lang natin siya dito para mas ma para mas ma-investigate natin siya. So, it has the following parts, the outer membrane, ito yung pinaka-outer covering niya, tapos merong konting space, okay, it's, a, the, it's called the intermembrane space, tapos uh, comes the, inter, the inner membrane. The inner membrane is uh, this uh, translucent membrane right here, at its, as it is represented, it's translucent. It's not entirely transparent, okay, pero meron siyang konting cloudiness in it, that's translucent. Uh, so, tapos inside it are uh, thylakoids. Ang mga thylakoids are disc-like structures right here na naka, ano, naka bundle, naka-stack. Okay, naka-stack sila. 
to form a granum. So a group of thylakoids right here, a stack of thylakoids is what you call as granum. So kung maraming mga, ano, maraming mga stacks of thylakoids na nandyan, you call them grana. And then the thylakoid, uh, is, the thylakoids are connected by stroma lamellae. Okay, and then yung um, stroma lamellae are, uh, you know, these uh, connections right here. And ang stroma is different from a stroma lamellae. A stroma is the part, it, it, it is the space, okay, outside the thylakoids. Okay, again, let me clarify this. Inside the inner membrane is a space called stroma. Okay? Okay, so I hope na na-clarify natin yun. So, outer membrane, tapos inner membrane space, tapos inner membrane, and then the stroma, that is the space. And then, um, thylakoids, and then inside the thylakoid eh, are, ay, okay, is lumen. Okay, inside the thylakoid is what you call as lumen, or the luminar space. Ayan. So, chlorophyll is found dito sa, ano, dito sa membrane ng thylakoid. Ibig sabihin, yung supot, yung covering ng thylakoid mismo, yung skin ng thylakoid, dun mo makikita yung chlorophyll. Did I say chloroplast? I'm sorry. Uh, makikita mo yung chlorophyll uh, dito sa membrane, sa skin, sa balat ng thylakoid. Yung energy from the red and blue light, sila yung ginagamit ng... Uh, chloroplast. Yung green at saka yung yellow, hindi niya ginagamit yun. Ang ginagawa ng, ano, ng chlorophyll is uh, nire-reflect niya yun uh, back towards the outer environment. Kaya nakikita natin ng mga plants na medyo yellow or green. Okay, because of that. Ang ginagamit ng chlorophyll ay yung red, yung energy that comes from red and blue light. Kasi yun yung mga usable for photosynthesis. And I hope that is clear because in the next uh, video, medyo masalimuot ang usapan natin. Okay? It's going to be about the light and dark reaction of photosynthesis. Pero for the meantime, we were able to finish the following. So you were able to finish a 10-item uh, pre-assessment that has uh, multiple choices items. And then you were also able to finish, we were also e able to finish a lecture about um, parts of the leaves and plant vascular system. And then, we were also able to finish a discussion about the parts of the chloroplast. I hope that you were able to understand them. And if you have some more questions, you may just uh, contact me through my Facebook page uh, at facebook.com forward slash knowledge catalog forward slash. The Knowledge Catalog is a brand being developed by a teacher creator. Yours truly. I am a high school teacher in the Philippines and I love developing content that I find useful and needed to better my instruction. If you are a fellow Science 9 teacher in the Philippines, I am very much willing to uh, share with you copies of these presentations na ginamit ko uh, in uh, this series for Grade 9 Biology. Just message me through my Facebook page. If you, uh, if you find this video good, uh, if, you, if it helped you, in any way, uh, I hope that you will be uh, liking it. And uh, if you have some positive comments to leave, please leave them in our comment section. And then uh, if you want to support me pa even more, please subscribe to this channel and uh, click on that bell button so that you would be able to be, you know, to, you will be notified in case uh, mag-upload ako ng mga ganito pang klaseng content. Uh, do not worry because uh, the content that I am uploading are just of this nature. And I hope that if you ha if you know someone like a teacher or a student, a grade 9 student, a teacher for Science 9 uh, who is looking for resources or who is looking for ways para makapagturo pa rin sila or matuto pa rin sila in Science 9 um, but they don't have, you know, online classes, they may consider using these materials as asynchronous um, teaching materials. And I will be very, uh, very glad to be of help. I hope that I'll be seeing you in the next video. And I hope that uh, that video is, uh, is still in the series para may follow through. Have a good day.